we can divide the Earth's interior into three parts. 1. The crust. 2. The mantle. 3. The core. The crust is the outermost layer of Earth. It is made up of solid rocks. Below the crust is the mantle. The crust and a portion of the mantle adjacent to it are together called lithosphere. Lithosphere is about 100 km thick. The division below the mantle is called the core. Let us study the first layer, the crust, in detail. The crust is made up of solid rocks. Its thickness varies from place to place. It is about 40 kilometers under the continent, whereas it's about 8 kilometers below the oceans. In the mountainous regions like Himalayas, it is about 70 kilometers. The average thickness of the crust is 30 kilometers. The crust is made up of two parts, CL and SEMA. CL is the upper portion of the crust. The rocks in this layer consist of silica and aluminium. These elements are light in weight so they are found in the upper layers. Continents are mainly made up of CL. SEMA is the layer below the CL. The rocks in this layer consist of compounds of silica and magnesium. Most of the oceans are formed out of this layer. It is heavier than CL. The mantle it is the layer below the crust. Its thickness is about 2,870 kilometers. It consists of compounds of iron and magnesium. Rocks in the upper 100 to 200 kilometers of the mantle melt due to heat. Due to the magma created in this layer, magma chambers are found in this part. When magma reaches the Earth's surface, through volcanic activity, it is called lava, the core. The layer below the mantle is called the core. Its thickness is 3,471 kilometers. It is subdivided into two parts, the outer core and the inner core. The outer core is in liquid state while the inner core is in solid state. The inner core predominantly comprises of iron and nickel. So it is called Nife. Let us see the changes occurring from the surface to the center of the earth. The center of the earth is located at a distance of 6,371 kilometers from its surface. The following changes occur in the interior of the earth from the surface to the center. Firstly, the process of cooling of the earth started from the surface. Hence, the temperature is higher towards the core. This increase in temperature generally takes place at the rate of 1 degree centigrade per 32 meters of the depth. This means that though the surface is cool, the core is very hot. The temperature at the center of the earth is estimated to be 5,000 degrees centigrade. Secondly, the density of the material increases towards the center. Thirdly, the primary waves of the earthquake can travel through all the layers of the earth. While traveling through the core, their direction changes. The secondary waves cannot travel through the liquid outer core. The study of earthquake waves has helped in determining the different layers of the interior and their boundaries. There are considerable differences in the temperature, density and state of the materials in the interior of the earth. These differences give rise to number of movements. By this, we can conclude that the interior of the earth is unstable and this is the reason earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur.